When I started my guiding career, I would come to the American West every summer. It's been a real anchor point in my fishing career, and so I try to get back every single summer. There is so much fishing opportunity in America, and particularly in the West, you have an incredible amount of open space and public land. You have more than a lifetime of fishing that's available to anyone uh, if you're willing to kind of work a little harder to get out there and appreciate it. We're on our way to Montana, and we're gonna go meet a really good friend of mine, Brian Hodges, and we're gonna get off the beaten path. We're gonna pick up some ATVs in town. We're gonna cruise back into the back country as far as we can, and then we're gonna take those ATVs and, and use that to get that last little bit all the way down to the water. When people think of fly fishing, really what they think of is trout fishing. I've really gone off and explored the world fishing for other things, but ultimately, it, for every fly angler, it starts with trout. I mean, trout fishing is where you, you become addicted to the sport, and it's still ultimately kind of the purest and most natural form of fly fishing. Oh, 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 awesome. <laughs> All right, that's a decent fish. Fish on, boys. People protect what they love. And you know, this is something I love and there are these wild places need to be protected. The only way that's gonna happen is if people participate. I'm a huge advocate of getting people into the sport. Like I, I want more people fishing. I want more people going outside. It's hard, but it's also really rewarding and it's wonderful. And from all of that, what I really hope will happen is good conservation and good wildlife management and the continued access to public lands.